Okay, gentlemen, today's game is about instilling back our identity, which is intensity. Intensity is our identity. So from, from the first second of the game, I'm going to ask for high intensity, high tempo, off the ball and on the ball. Okay, so um, today's lineup. Adrian, Glenn, Ryan, Camilo, Evan, Mikey, Jose, Marcus, Emmanuel, Christian, and Ron up front. These are the two forwards. Okay? The opponent is typical 4-3-3. We're obviously 3-5-2. And we want to discuss right now is the first subject is obviously defending. Okay, so defending, our principles of defending is sprinting. Everybody is sprinting. Okay, so from, from the start of the, the goalkeeper, when the goalkeeper is about to start over there, our forwards is really ready to go. Our midfield players, we want them to be marked up man to man. Okay, our line is pretty high. As you can imagine, if the ball is played over there, one of the forwards, Ronnie, try to deviate the game to the, to the left. Okay, to the left side. Immediately, Christian, you're in charge of the fall, uh, the number six. He does not play the ball. Okay, so you pretty much you want to do a markup man to man. So, Mikey, you got their, their 10 or 8. Same thing, Jose, you got their 10 or 8. Okay, Marcus, it's an immediate pressure. Okay, there is no give him space so he can turn. It's pressure right away. Okay, so like I said, today we're going to go very intense. Intense from the first second. So Ronnie, this ball is not switching back. Okay, so we have to be really tight. Glenn, Camilo, here and on top. And Evan is the free man who is going to try to clean up our, our, our mess in the middle. Okay, this ball, there's only one, one way and one direction is going to go. is long and behind us. Okay, or through here and we, we crash it in. I don't want this ball to go through us. It's right there. Around us, not through us. So this cannot go through us. I don't want the switch to happen over here. And if yes, if it happens with the long ball, please, let's shift as fast as possible. We're first shifting with a sprint. We're shifting with a sprint, boys. Okay? And we keep track of our men. Same here, Christian, Ronnie, get back into play. So if it switches, Okay, we make sure that we don't get beat by a pass over us or a pass through us. You understand? So the switching is, it's right there um, with high intensity, shifting to, uh, with sprinting. Okay, so these are basic principles that we're going to talk about today. Around us, not through us, compact lines like this, like you see it over here. Okay, the lines is compact. Obviously, this guy has to go back over here as well. Okay, compact line, and we're shifting on full sprint and full speed. Okay, no gaps allowed. Glenn, you're in charge. Okay, no gaps allowed. All right, so and if, they, if you feel like there is going to be a long ball, then they take five yards back so we can deny that ball in behind us. Okay, that's from the attack and, uh, attack and half. On the defensive half, when the ball is... Playing an hour and a half. I want the line of five. And pretty much a line of three. Okay? One of the forwards is always in charge of their number six. And not, I don't want them to be operational at all. So one of the forwards is always in charge of their number six from whatever side it is. So you see how compact and, and, and tight the space is. Okay? Keep. The direct opponent in front of you, Marcus, Glenn, or Ryan, okay? Keep your direct opponent in front of you, not beside you, in front of you, Emmanuel, in front of you. This is in your visual, okay? Glenn, this is in your visual, or Ryan or, or, or Camino. Marcus, this guy is in your visual, if the ball is in this side, not beside you, not in between you. 
So this guy is in your visual cue, in front of you, okay? In our attacking half. In the box. When they're about to cross, tight. Very tight, man tight, okay? The runners are coming, it's very tight. Tight in the box, okay? We keep everything tight in the box if it's about to be crossed by number two maybe, okay? So it's pretty tight. First of all, we try to deny the cross. We don't want anything to happen, but if it happens, we are tight in the box. Tight, man-to-man -man marking, literally, you're touching his shirt. Is that understood? Okay? In transition, when we win the ball, transition when we win the ball, our first option is, can we get forward, can we play the ball forward, number one, can we get the, the outside wingers to go as fast as possible forward and then we create numbers up with the two midfield players, Mikey and, um, and Jose, please, you need to guys catch up. So on the first play ball forward, in any area of the field, attacking third, defensive third, mid third, in any areas of the field, the ball is, can we go forward? Can we go forward as fast as possible? Can we go forward? And then we create numbers up, okay? So first ball is forward, and if there is no forward balls, we can, we can look to recycle if we win it over here. Of course, let's look to recycle longer, not shorter. It's long to recycle longer, and then we can build up another play. Okay, so. So attacking principles. Think forward, look forward, and play forward. Those are our attacking principles. Okay, so your mind is always thinking, the first option is, what is the forward pass? Where do I look for the forward pass? And how am I gonna play the forward pass? So verticality is our, is our, um, is our theme, is our, is our way of doing things. In order to create verticality, so Ron, Christian, please, deep. Depth, you're creating depth. Emmanuel and Marcus, you're creating width for us. Okay, so on the build up, we build up with diamond shape. Uh, Ryan, I don't want this large, too large. So it's here. So if Glenn is starting the play, Camilo, you are here. Maybe you shift over this a little bit. But most importantly, Evan, okay, if it's three versus three, we have a goalkeeper also. So we have four versus three. We don't need to come over here and, and plug in the space. So you need to be in, in areas where we can slide the ball through to you so you can play it wide or you can play it here. You understand? Okay, so the players that they need to shift on the outside is either Mikey or Jose. But Mikey, you are close. You're playing close. So the three midfield players here, Mikey, Jose, you guys are always playing in a triangle shape. Triangle shape. Whatever you guys move, you move together in a triangle shape. Sh uh, Evan. You have Jose and, uh, and, and Mikey, they must be in front of you. Not beside you, not in front of them. Okay, so that's, that's the shape here, the triangle. And then here is the diamond. We call it a triangle as well. Okay, so the diamond shape over there as well. Okay? All right, so the objective is can we, can we really build to find Marcus? Can we build to find Emmanuel through? Those are the, our objective from our defensive third. Okay, can we build to find the wingers? Okay, if, it's, if it has to be a long ball, a long ball is to Ron and Christian, they have plenty of speed to really uh, make us um, uh, an attack and threat from behind, if we wanted to play the ball in behind. I think the opponent today, which from what I scouted, they're, uh, they're kind of slow out of the back or from the back. Okay, their center backs are slow. So let's see if we can take advantage of um, playing with the principle of verticality. Let's take advantage of, can we find the space in behind right away? We're not, we're not looking to, to, to play too much in our half unless if there is no pressure. If there is no pressure, we still maintain the diamond shape and we move the ball to move this, the, the, the opponent. So we keep moving the ball. Don't stand still on the ball, so the ball has to be moving. Moving, moving until we shift the opponent and we can find 
the opportunity to play the ball through to these players up front. So technically, when you look at the, the setup over here, we're playing with four up front, four players up front. So there is options. There's going to be options in between the lines as long as they, these guys, they create the depth and, um, and, and width. Okay? But most importantly, most importantly, very important for Evan, Jose, and Mikey. They play together. If the ball is played to the left, Mikey come over here to receive, to connect these balls. However, Jose, you're coming along. So yes, there's so much work and so much demand on the midfield players today. They should do lots of running sideways and lots of running, which we're gonna discuss here in the attacking third. Lots of running in the under left ones. Okay, so diamond shape and angles and triangles today in the build up. All right, moving up to this to the to the half. We want to keep things clear and simple for our midfield players, particularly. We always try to go in the depth positions and width positions for the wingers. So positional play is very important. Now, in our build up in the attack in third. <coughs> Jose and um, Jose and uh, Jose and and, um, and Mike. This is very very important. If we play the ball wide, Jose is underlapping. Mike, you're coming around over here to create. Evan, you are in balance. Camilo, you are in balance. Glenn, you're in balance. While we are building up, this is the attack and shape. Emmanuel, stay wide. Okay. All right, so there's things that we need, we worked on at practice and we need to apply it today, such as this. So if, if Jose makes an end lap run, maybe this ball is for one of the forwards to check in, the other forwards is going in behind. Okay, so for the ball to be triangle play. So here, here, here. Okay, all right. So therefore, it's massive. Our center mids are playing together, like I said, in a diamond shape, in a, excuse me, in a triangle shape. The one who's closer to this action is making lots of under lap runs. And under lap runs could be also in the 18 yard box. We've done it also at practice, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, but ma mainly the forwards, the forwards create depth, check when it's necessary. Most importantly, these are the runs that you guys need to look for. Can I make the run? These type of runs, Christian. Run these type of runs, these type of runs. So don't get into a, 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 anybody's way in terms of what runs we make. If Ronnie checks and he attack in third, Christian, see if he can get this in behind. I don't want the two forwards to be playing flat and no movements at all. So you guys have to exchange positions all the time, all the time. Ron and Christian, we did it at practice for a couple of times this week, so it should be fresh and understood what, what, what we're looking for from you today, okay? We get to these positions, Marcus, Jose, or whoever, Emmanuel, it's an early cross for Christian, Mikey, and Jose running into the box. It's early cross, early cross. Emmanuel, early cross, early cross. As soon as you get there, it's an early cross, okay? Christian and Ron in position over here in between the goal posts, not here or here. So in between goal posts. And then Marcus comes over in behind. Okay, I think it's uh, simple and understood here. Okay, and of course, Evan, Glenn, and Camilo in balance for transition against us. Speaking of transition, we lose the ball in the attack and third, it's counter press. The counter press, it starts with the first player that loses the ball. If Mikey loses the ball, you're the first one you're gonna get. You are the first one. Emmanuel collapsing, Christian is collapsing, and then obviously you have the defenders are collapsing. So this is nothing new, you've been doing it for a while now. But the first player who loses the ball, he's the first player to initiate the counter press. Okay? And then the immediate players that are around him, they're also helping for, for, for press. Our identity is high intensity, is intensity, 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 high press, high intensity. And the corner kicks, Christian in swing, I'm gonna have Ron, Marcus, and Ryan. Okay, 
Jose, I'm a goalkeeper. I want in swings crosses. So Christian has been crossing some good crosses, but in swing. However, Marcus, you run into the first post. Ronnie comes to the second post. Ryan into the middle post. Okay, so we're exchanging positions over here. Okay, we are exchanging positions here. On the right side. And obviously we keep Evan on, 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 on top of the box and, and Mikey on top of the box, these type of the positions that we want. So Ryan, it's an in-swing. Christian in the mix with them. So it's an in-swing cross. Ryan, okay, it's an in-swing cross. Mainly you're aiming at these three players running into this area. Mainly you're aiming at these three players, Ron, Marcus, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll include a Glenn over here. Okay, we'll include Glenn and, 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 uh, in swing on the right. Ron, Marcus, and Christian will be on top of the box. Okay, so it's an in swing from both, both sides. Okay, defending corners. Ron, Marcus, uh, uh, Ron, Marcus, and, uh, and and Glenn, free man, Ryan, you're the person who's going to hide the play, to hunt the ball. So if the ball is crossed, you're the person who's going to hunt the ball, including the goalkeeper, Adrian. So three free men, one hunting the ball, and the rest are marking up man to man here in the box. It's mark up man to man, you're literally touching his shirt. Okay? All right? So if you guys have any questions, uh, we can we can discuss it further. When we get to the field this is the basic principles for tonight let's go out there and perform it's performance